Hey, I'm Zach with Colony Roofers. Today, we're gonna talk about when can my roof no longer be repaired? Stay tuned for more details. So at Colony, we come across literally hundreds of people every year that we're trying to help them make a decision as whether, whether to repair their roof or if it's gotten past the point of being able to be repaired. One of the biggest things we start to look at when we're trying to decide whether to repair the roof for them or not is, is there existing water intrusion to the point where the roof decking has been compromised? So the bottom layer of the roof is actually just going to be your roof deck. And that is really the structural integrity to your roofing system. So on a commercial building that could be wood, that could be metal, that could even be concrete or lightweight concrete. On a residential building, that's typically just going to be wood, either plywood sheets, four by eight feet, or OSB sheets, again, four by eight feet. It's important to know if the decking on the roof has been compromised, we have structural integrity issues with the roof. And if that is pervasive across the roof, which is typically seen by sagging in the roof, so you have some waviness or some sagging that's pervasive across the roof, that's typically a sign that the roof really can't be repaired anymore and needs to be replaced. The second factor that we use to decide if the roof uh, is something we can repair is the expected life of the existing system so on a three tab shingle roof we're looking at you know has the roof already had 15 20 years on it to the point where it really probably should be replaced we typically don't like to repair things that are at the end of its life because we really pride ourselves on doing what's right by our customers and we truly believe that when we get to the end of a roof's useful life we're just wasting their money by putting more repairs into that roof we do help customers that you know are in, in need maybe of a short-term fix, but we always try to make sure they understand too that this is not something that's gonna last long-term because the roof has reached the end of its expected life. The next thing that really has an impact on whether your roof can be repaired or not is storm damage. So there's a couple of different big categories of storm damage. We have hail damage, wind damage, and then tree damage are kind of the three big categories that we think about it in. Hail damage is typically seen across the entire roof or in, in very large areas. So if you have hail damage, that's typically not gonna be something that's repaired. It's typically something that's gonna go through your insurance company if you have property or homeowner's insurance, and then they'll make an assessment as to how severe the hail damage is, if there is hail damage, uh, and, then, and then they'll replace the roof from there. Wind damage is something that uh, can go either way. So wind damage typically can be repaired, but as the roof gets later in its life, there's um, actually on a shingle roof typically issues with brittleness and the shingles being too brittle for them to be lifted up and, and slid out and then a new one slid in and repaired. And so at, at that point, if we have a wind damage roof it is towards the end of its expected life, typically we're gonna recommend not repairing that roof. A lot of the time that ends up going through insurance as well. And then there's a discussion with the insurance carrier as to whether it's repairable or not. I actually call that the repairability test and we'll do a separate video on that. Tree damage is the last big category that I'll talk about with relation to storm damage. Tree damage can almost always be repaired unless the roof is at the very end of its life. So that's typically uh, kind of the same situation with wind damage, although wind damage even affects a larger area of the roof typically than a tree does. A tree could just fall. I uh, actually had a neighbor recently where a tree limb fell and just punctured the roof. And it was probably about a one foot by one foot area. It was a good sized tree limb, but there's absolutely nothing wrong with us just going ahead and taking out that tree limb. Obviously we put a tarp in the meantime while the insurance company gets to come out and take a look at it. And then when that, when that uh, insurance company takes their pictures and does their assessment, we go ahead and just repair that, that localized area. So I hope that's helpful on all, all the different aspects of storm damage uh, and, and what can or can't be repaired on the roof. The last one I'm gonna talk about is double layers. So we see it a lot on residential buildings where somebody maybe decided they didn't wanna spend the money that it would cost to replace a roof. And so they had someone, uh, it's not actually acceptable in Georgia anymore, but they had someone come out and do a second layer on top of the existing shingles. 
We don't repair roofs that have uh, two layers of shingles because it's impossible to actually pinpoint where the water is coming in. You think about it as having uh, you know, a, a layer on top of another layer, the water could be coming in the top layer, then running down the, the bottom layer, then coming in again in a different place and compromising the decking there. So because of the fact that it's just too difficult and actually not up to code anymore to have two layers of shingles on a roof, we don't repair roofs like that and don't recommend that anybody repair them if you're a property owner because it's really just a roofing system that needs to be replaced and is, is, is kind of outdated at this point. On commercial buildings, two layers is acceptable. Commercial building code allows for two layers of roofing. So we will repair and, and do consistently repair roofs that already have two layers on a commercial or a, I should say flat roofing system. You can have two layers of roofing and that's completely acceptable. So if you have a commercial building, a repair can be done if there's more than, more than one layer. On a residential building, it's highly not recommended that, that you do a repair if you have more than one layer of shingles. Go ahead and replace the roof, get it under warranty, you'll have a lot more peace of mind down the line. I hope this video was helpful. If you want any help with assessing whether your roof can be repaired or not, feel free to reach out. We have a number of roof repair technicians that we'd love to send out and have them give you a free assessment, a free estimate. Uh, feel free to reach out if you have any other questions. Also watch our other videos. We have one specifically on repair versus replacement and how to make the best decision for you.